Hey, Emily, it's uh, John, and um, I know you're asking about, okay, so how do you figure out uh, what category to rank for and stuff? Um, I'll just say real quick that the rank really, there used to be this thing on uh, called KDP Calculator. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be working now, uh, but basically what you do is you take normally take... Um, Say, for example, we're in the category um, that you're interested in of, like, say, humor. You, re you would take, look up whatever is number one or whatever kind of other book is ranked on there. And then you look at overall, what is the rank on Amazon? So you go down, scroll down a little bit, and you eventually get to it. That it is right now, this book, um, Free Country, is, sorry, it's kind of, jumping around a little bit. I think it's kind of jerky because I'm using this um, video capture. 43 in um, the Kindle store. And it's number, but it's number one in its categories of biographies, uh, humor entertainment. Now, like I said, the KDB calculator used to be a great way. You could just plug in that number, 43, for example, and you get the rank. This other um, infographic here, I'll also do the link to this as well gives you the numbers that it would basically spit out. Like for example, for 43, it's roughly about 300 to 1,000 books um, per day that you would need to sell. So I thought, you know, when you mentioned the numbers that you had covered, that that's what you were looking at in terms of, you know, asking folks to buy that many copies and stuff. So the thing is, that's where I'm kind of getting at is that you, you may want to look at which niche you can dominate. So if, for example, you got to sell that many, I mean, 43 is really tough to beat. So like I said, that is roughly at least 300 to 1,000 books per day. So that's a lot of books you got to move and stuff. So you may look at some of the categories that you mentioned. Um, travel, possibly, possibly family relationships. Um, so I would just jump to travel real quick but i'm guessing that they probably have some pretty heavy hitters there as well so let's go back here and again i'm looking at kindo so um yeah you can have print and stuff like that but really kindo is where you can really move and make you know kind of make a real big dent and stuff like that so let's look at kindo or excuse me travel as the category um essays and travel logs and let's see what's number one there actually you Free country is number one there too as well. Uh, so I don't know if that's what you were looking at, but you've got some pretty tough, stiff competition there. Um, so again, that's something that I would say to look at is just simply who's your competition? Because if you want to get to number one, because here's the thing about number one, stuff like that, as your other friend mentioned, is that um, besides a free advertising space and being featured by Amazon, as your friend mentioned and stuff like that, um, Let's face it, this page, when people go to that category, is going to get attention. And anything starts kind of going below the fold, so to speak, these lower kind of, you know, I mean, even, you know, we're just talking about maybe number 10 and all that. It's really hard to catch people's attention. And again, you know, you're going against like Bill Bryson, if you go to the travel, essays, travel logs, uh, Zen in the, Art of, in the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance and stuff, um, John Krakauer, again, Bill Bryson. Um, I, you know, without even looking at their actual sales and stuff, I can tell you that they're going to be pretty tough numbers to crack. So that was just something to look at. Um, let me see. Some of the ones you mentioned, <clears throat> family relationships. Uh, again, that's that's another tough category. So that's really a lot of what's going to be driving it is like kind of looking at categories that possibly making a difference and stuff. You know, there may be one that kind of combines, you know, like humor and relationships and stuff. Um, that of course takes a little bit of research, but let's look at, okay, parenting and relationships and maybe dating. I don't know. I don't see dating on here, but that's probably something more along your lines and stuff. Um, but let's look at real quick here. Primates of Park Avenue, a memoir. And, uh, just scrolling down again, looking at what numbers that they can. Okay. So 109. Number one for humor, but 109. So 109 gets you basically, I'm guessing, still pretty tough. Yeah, it's still around 300 to 1,000 books um, per day. So it's not easy categories that you're going after there. Um, not to be discouraging, but it's definitely, 
you may want to just consider seeing something that you can hit on in terms of um, something more along dating, more along kind of something um, related to millennials or something like that. Uh, and you know, again, it takes a little bit of research to find you know which you know niche you can possibly fit into and everything. But that's just kind of like just one way you know I would kind of look at you know like kind of identifying which possible um, niches you can possibly you know make that dent and stuff. So um, I'm gonna pause here real quick and then see if maybe I can find something else that might be worthwhile looking. Okay, um, here I found under um, sex, you know, how to fuck a woman. Uh, <laughs> um, this one is n ranked number 4,000, 4,100 overall in Kindle, and it's ranking number one in uh, health, fitness, dieting, and sex right now. And again, looking at the overall conversion, then um, that's about 25 to 70 books. So that's really the ballpark more of what you're looking to kind of shoot for and stuff. So, um, you know, I'm going to stop this video and then, uh, you know, just send it to you. And so that would be where I would kind of start off is looking at this kind of category and other ones related to it.